Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So lately I've been getting a few questions about my chickens. Uh, specifically, how the heck am I still getting eggs and what am I feeding my chickens? So I thought it would take just a minute to talk about that. This isn't my usual Wednesday coffee chat because I'm out here at the coop, so we'll call it a coop chat today. So here's the thing about the chickens. Yes, my chickens are still laying fairly well even though the weather has turned colder. Uh, right now we're having a warm spell, so I'm enjoying 60 degree temperatures. Uh, that won't last for long. It's just supposed to get uh, quite cold next week. Uh, so that'll, that'll be definitely changing. Uh, so yes, it has gotten colder. There's less sunlight. Chickens need sunlight to lay eggs. And when there's less hours of sunlight, there's less sunlight, so chickens lay less eggs. Um, I do not use artificial lighting. There's some people will put artificial lights inside their coops. I don't do that because I feel like uh, chickens slowing down with the egg laying process in the winter is a natural phenomenon. Uh, their bodies might need that break. I mean, who knows? And so I, I don't do anything artificial like that. Um, I also feel like lighting in a chicken coop, uh, heat lamps or anything like that, are all fire hazards and so I just don't see the need to do that. I don't think it's worth the risk. I do however uh, change up the way I feed the chickens a little bit. A couple of things that I do is I up the quantity of food that they get. You know when the weather turns cold like this, the seasons change, there's just not much out here for the chickens to eat. So I want to make sure that they're getting all of the calories that their bodies need to be healthy and strong and to lay good eggs. And so I will up the quantity of the feed that they're getting. I also increase the amount of protein that they're getting because their bodies need protein to stay warm. Their bodies need protein to create eggs, and if they're not getting enough, what happens is their body's using the protein that they do get to stay warm, and so then they're not using any of the protein to create eggs. The body can't really do both at the same time if they're not getting the nutrients that they're needing. And so some of the things that I will change is in the winter time, when the weather is cold, I'll actually start giving the chickens some corn in their feed. Corn is high in protein and it's, it's high in, uh, higher in calorie uh, levels than some of the other feed. And um, you can use the cracked corn, but I know that the whole kernel corn is a little bit better as far as that goes. And so I, I give them the whole kernel corn. In the past, they wouldn't eat it. You know, if I just throw a whole kernel corn out on the ground, you know, dry corn, they're not gonna touch it. But if I mix it into their feed, they do eat it. Uh, the other thing that I do is I give them black oil sunflower seeds. Black oil sunflower seeds are very healthy for them. You got the protein, you got the omega fatty acids and all of that stuff. And uh, so increasing the feed, increasing the protein, uh, making sure that they've got a very healthy diet uh, increases your your chances of continuing to get good eggs throughout the winter time. Now like I said it has gotten colder there's less sunlight and so my numbers have gone down a little bit I'm not getting quite as many eggs as that I do like say in August or September. Um, one day a couple weeks ago I only got nine eggs in one day which is very very low especially when you're you're used to getting closer to two dozen a day but it was especially cold and you know the chickens aren't used to that and I don't blame them for not wanting to lay when the weather's that nasty uh, so the weather does play an effect on your chickens so overall, they, they still get their laying pellets. They still get a little bit of the scratch grain. I don't give them a ton of that, but they do still get some of that. I uh, give them the corn, the black oil, sunflower seeds. Oh, I also add some flax seed every few days. I'll throw in a little handful of flax seed in there. Again, really healthy oils, high in protein and all that. I also give flax seed to my little bitty bantams that are in there just because they're so little. I don't give them the sunflower seeds or the whole kernel corn. I do give them the cracked corn because again, they're little chickens so they can maybe eat the big stuff but I don't know, I just feel like making it easier for them because they're so tiny. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it. And of course they always get the table scraps, the food scraps that get left over in the kitchen as well. Uh, that, that's a kind of a year-round thing. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you all next time.